Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on exchange rate policy. An exchange rate policy is what we use to control the exchange rate. An exchange rate policy is run and controlled by the Bank of England or the central bank. Now two methods are used to control the exchange rate in exchange rate policy and these are the alteration of the interest rate and the buying or selling of foreign currency reserves which I'm going to come on to in just a second. So firstly how does the interest rates affect our exchange rate? Well if the Bank of England sets a high interest rate then there is a big reward from saving in British banks. Therefore there will be a greater demand to save in British banks. So therefore more people will exchange their money for pounds in order to save them in British banks. And the diagram we have here shows the demand and supply for pounds. If you notice on our y axis we have the price of the pound. So if all these people want to save in British banks because of the high interest rate then the demand for the pound will increase from D1 to D2. And at the same time, as these people are saving their money in banks, they're essentially withdrawing that money from the circular flow of income. So the supply of pounds will decrease as well from S1 to S2. So our equilibrium price has now gone from where D1 and S1 cross originally at P1, and it has risen to where S2 and D2 cross at P2. So therefore, the price of the pound has increased. The value of the pound has gone up. So therefore, we now have a stronger exchange rate. So therefore, appreciation has occurred. And the opposite will occur if there is a low interest rate. And this is monitored by the Bank of England to affect the interest rate, as I've already said. Next, we have the buying or selling of foreign currency reserves. So every central bank in every country will have stockpiles of foreign currencies that they're not using. So for example, in the Bank of England, somewhere in a vault, there will be a huge pile of dollars, there will be a huge pile of euros, there will be a huge pile of yen, there will be a huge pile of everything. And by a huge pile, I mean millions and millions of dollars and euros and so on. Now, if the Bank of England wishes to cause appreciation, they wish the exchange rate to rise, what they will do is they will sell some of this foreign currency. So for example, if they sell dollars, they exchange dollars for pounds, then what they are doing is selling dollars and demanding pounds back in return. Because obviously when you sell something, you demand money back. So as they exchange these dollars for pounds, they are getting pounds back. So they are essentially demanding those pounds. So therefore the demand for the pound will increase causing our demand curve for the pound to shift from D1 to D2. And this causes a shift in our equilibrium price from P1 to P2. So there has been a rise in our equilibrium price in the value of the pound. So therefore appreciation has occurred. The exchange rate is now stronger. And the opposite can occur if the bank increases the amount of foreign currency reserves it has. It will buy more foreign currency. This means that it is increasing the supply of pounds because it is giving pounds to companies when it's exchanging the money. So therefore the supply of pounds will decrease resulting in depreciation and a weak exchange rate. 